Hello dear learners, welcome to today's program. I am Dr. Pallavi Kukoi of Krishna Tanda Handy State Open University. In today's program, I shall be taking up a course from Foundation Course in English, Semester 1, Block 2. The unit is titled Unit 9, Phrases and Idioms. First, I shall begin with a table of contents, starting with the learning objectives, followed by a discussion on phrases and idioms, and then we shall move on to questions to check your progress, followed by the references. Starting with the learning objectives, after going through this unit, the learner will be able to discuss the function of phrases and idioms, gain an idea on the importance of phrases and idioms, and also figure out the common phrases and idioms that we use regularly in our expressions. Now coming to phrases and idioms, one of the basic characteristics of the English language is the huge stock of idiomatic expressions. Most of these expressions have posed a serious problem to second language learners of English. The problem arises because the meaning of these expressions cannot be easily deduced from knowledge of the normal meaning of the constituent words. Any learner with knowledge of the normal meaning of fall and out, for an example, would be able to understand a sentence like, my wallet fell out of my pocket. However, knowledge of our meaning of individual words will not provide any clue to the learner with certain idiomatic expression. For an example, they have been good friends for years until they fell out over some trivial matter. Now, do you see the difference? It is important for second language learners or speakers not only to understand the implied meaning of such idiomatic expressions, but also to use them in order to add sparkle to the expressions. Two central uh, features underlying an idiom are A. The meaning of an idiomatic expression cannot be deduced by examining the individual words that make up or constitute the expression. B. The expression is fixed both grammatically and structurally. In keeping with the above features, the sentence given below is inappropriate. If you note, look at the sentence. He turned every stone to get the job. The expression turn every stone distorts the fixed structure, leave no stone unturned. For an example, he left no stone unturned to get the job. That is why it is important to note that the form of expression cannot be changed. Moreover, an interesting point about these idiomatic expression is that a word can enter into an enormous number of constructions. A word like hand can enter into as many as 92 idiomatic expressions which include free hand, hand in glove, catch red handed, wash one's hands off and a host of others. The implied meanings of idiomatic phrases add a dash of sparkle to expression and when we use it in its proper context, it makes our expression more apt and precise. Sometimes, if you note, it also adds a dash of wit or humor. For an instance, the phrase for good, which means forever, could be used to express something in a witty manner. I have to get rid of that fool for good. It is important to grasp the essence of these idiomatic expressions in order to use them correctly both in spoken or written form. Now we come to the questions which are as follows. These are questions to check your progress and some of the possible questions. Question number one. Why does idiomatic expressions pose serious problems to second language learners of English? Question number two. What are the two central features underlying an idiom? Question number three. What does the implied meaning of idiomatic phrases add to our regular expressions? And question number four, write a few lines on the functions and importance of phrases and idioms of a language. Here are the references. You are advised to go through the BA English Graduate Self-Learning Material, that is the SLM, or Foundation Course in English, Block 2, Unit 9, Semester 1. Thank you, dear learners.